Jay Barnett. I uh, wanted to record a brief little video today about uh, leases, head leases, and master leases um, when talking about small businesses or franchises. Um, if you are going to operate a business out of a uh, property that you don't own, then you're going to have a deal with the landlord. Uh, it's called a lease. So, you know, lease is a contract, outlines what, uh, how much you're going to pay and what services you're going to get for that. It usually has a time limit, etc. Um, when you talk about franchises, though, uh, typically what we get into is head leases and master leases. So you decide that you're going to buy a coffee shop franchise, and the franchisor talks about how they're going to use their years of experience and, and expertise to help find the right location, and they're going to uh, negotiate a lease for you. So they go, they talk to the landlord, they sign a lease uh, with the landlord, and then they turn around and sublet the space to you. So what the franchisor has done is they have entered into what they call a head lease or a master lease. And there are several reasons why this kind of arrangement is happening more and more in, um, in franchise operations. Uh, number one, landlords, particularly large national scale landlords, uh, big real estate investment trusts, they would rather sign a lease with a large national franchise company than with an individual franchisee. It makes them feel more secure. So if there's a property that's in a great deal of demand, uh, sometimes the, the landlord will insist on having a lease signed by uh, the big franchise company. The big reason, though, why the franchisor wants to enter into this kind of arrangement is because it ultimately puts them in a situation of control over the location. So let me give you an example. Um, you buy the coffee franchise, you invest 300 grand in leaseholds and improvements, um, you have this huge debt to pay, you're paying the franchisor who is your landlord directly and there in turn, they in turn are paying the, the property owner or the landlord. And uh, you can't make it, so you go bankrupt. You go out of business. And now the bank, come, maybe the bank, uh, you borrowed money from the bank to buy some equipment and to put the leaseholds and fixtures in. The bank goes after those fixtures and finds that uh, they can't really sell them for anything. And the franchisor steps in and says, hey, Mr. Banker, I'll buy all of the fixtures and equipment off of you. Uh, I'll give you some nominal amount of money, and now I own them. Now what's happened is you entered into a franchise arrangement, you took on a bunch of debt, you took on a bunch of risk, and you've gone bust, and now the franchisor, they still have the location because they have a lease arrangement directly with the landlord, and now they've just bought basically the equipment off the bank um, because you've defaulted on the loan, and now they have a franchise location free and clear. Uh, fully equipped, all uh, decked out with improvements and everything, and it's debt-free. So what they now are in a position to do is put their own manager in and run that business. Um, and, of course, since they have no debt payments, they're probably going to make more money with it. But what they usually do, of course, is they go looking for another franchisee, and they sell the store to him um, and try to get full pop out of it. And uh, many franchisors, in fact, have poor reputations because they... Uh, have been known to do this over and over and over again to people uh, in the same location, um, continuously having people go bust and then uh, finding someone new. Anyway, I just wanted to l bring you guys up to speed on uh, a little bit of education video on the topic of master or head leases when it comes to franchises, because uh, I've got some upcoming videos where I'm going to be sharing some stories um, about how these types of scenarios have actually played out uh, that I've witnessed. If you want to learn more about small business, investing, um, private equity deals, um, making superior returns on your money without using uh, retail investments or the Wall Street banks, uh, be sure to buy my book, Invest Local, uh, available from my blog site, investlocalbook.com, uh, or from Amazon. Thanks. Talk to you soon.